Hey guys, welcome back to Walls of CCLP1. Uh, we are on level 97 called Spaced Out, and uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this level is just quite a, a bit of interesting comparisons to make with this level, and a level I made a while back. Uh, but I will get into it after I lower my volume, even though only I can hear it. But, uh, let's see what we got. We got a, uh, huh. I only need to get one of the blocks out right now, so. I think it's this one. Yeah, let's move that there since that ice corner is there for a reason. Okay, yeah, this is the block we need. Okay, I guess we do that to get more. Okay, so... Ah, okay, I think I get it. Yeah, let me move this. This is an interesting setup. I, I actually really like this room. This used to be the ice room of uh, uh, Colors for Extreme, which is what this level uses the template for. So there's a level I made that also uses the walls from Colors for Extreme called Piston It Away, which is very interestingly enough, also a toggle wall themed level, and also starts in this room, which also featured block pushing to get out. Uh, very interesting uh, coincidence. I don't believe it's intentional, but I don't know for sure. I, I do know that this was the second to last designed for the set, uh, right before... Um, uh, Matan, or whatever the level was called, the one that used the walls of Frozen in Time, which was the last level designed for the set. This was second to last, which honestly still surprises me to this day, because I feel like Colors for Extreme has a very versatile, well, not versatile, it has a very unique uh, wall pattern that I would normally think that I I didn't think it was that hard to use when I made Piston Away. Which is in Josh L6, if you're wondering. I think it's also level 97 of the extended version. Which is why this is which is why this is level 97. So I think that was a nice little callback to something from a official not from something from a non-official set. Okay, so I can get I can get that I can get that right now, I think. Oh. There we go. Go across that. That's where the hint used to be, where that yellow key is. Oh, wow. I've mistimed that completely. Uh the other interesting thing about this level is it's also titled very similarly uh, in regards to Piston It Away. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Piston It Away is a name of a Crash Bandicoot 2 level. Uh, it's actually the first level in the final hub or warp, warp room as the game calls them. Um, that you go through. And it, t it takes place in like a space station type of thing. It doesn't really have anything to do with um, toggle walls or anything like that. I just like the name of it. it was, it's probably one of, the more, one of the more interesting level names in Crash 2. Uh, but there's another level that's similar to it called Spaced Out, which is the final level in the, fi in the final warp room. Technically, you can do any of the you can do any of five levels in any order you want from that game. But 
But uh, I think it was suggested by someone else, though, to name it Spaced Out. But I think it was more as a joke, but JB still ran with it anyway, given the reference that it was making. So yeah, lots of little interesting bits to this, how both the walls of Colors for Extreme levels are toggle wall themed levels. So far I'm liking this a lot. Piston Away is probably one of my probably one of my better levels I've designed, just because it, it is toggle wall themed and they're not easy to make. Like they are not easy to make at all. Okay, what do we got here? So do I want to hold these down? I don't see why I would. It just leaves the water. Maybe I gotta get the blocks into the traps. So let's do this. Oh, this is actually pretty easy. And then do that. Now, do I want this red key? Because once I go in there, I can't... I'm going to bring it with me just in case. Because you never know. Okay, so we got... Oh, hello. The left button connects to the, trap, the top trap, and the right button connects to the bottom. Walls from Colors for Extreme. Okay, so we got the yellow key as well. So what's over here? Oh, this is the top section of the level. I like that this one uses teleports. I don't think Piston Away did. Not, not that I recall. Okay, the left button connects to the top trap, so let me do that. And I can get the blue key now. <sighs> oh, okay. I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. So I want to do that next. I think. Yeah. So I can hold both of them down, and I can get. I can get that. But I can't go any farther than this. So I think I want to go ahead. I think I want to go ahead and kill the tank off. Because, I mean, if you think about it, I don't even need those traps for anything. I'm not sure why that pop-up ball is there. Actually, I can't kill the tank off. It's just going to get stuck back here. Maybe I don't need that key? I, mean, I can go in the teleport left right now if I wanted to, but I'm not sure if that's correct. Actually, it would just take me... I think it would just take me back. Yeah, it, it just does that, so that's not correct. Oh, wait, I can do something like Well, this kind of breaks it in links, though. Wait a minute. I can just do that. And I can go back through the teleport. I'm not sure how this would work in Lynx. I, this is a little weird, but... But I can do that. And then now I can get that. I still don't know why. I 
still don't know why I'd want that though. Maybe I was actually supposed to get the f the fire boots instead. This top section's a little it's a little weird. Oh, why did I think it was going to take me to the fourth floor? Okay, well that top section is a little unclear. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think I did it right, but I think I might have missed something with the fire boot. So something that's not actually about uh, this level or anything like that. Um, I actually wasn't planning on recording tonight, but the only reason why I really am is to kind of get my mind off stuff right now. Um, nothing really bad is going on, it's just my, I have anxiety pretty bad, and sometimes I get those little phases where, well, if you have anxiety, you probably know exactly what I could possibly be going through. It can be anything, really. That's what sucks about it. Um, sometimes I get randomly depressed. Um, or I feel alone at random times. Well, right now, it's more or less feeling like I'm losing one of my close friends that I have online. And I don't know why I feel this way. Um, there hasn't been any reasoning. Like, nothing's happened between me and this friend of mine. They're not in CC, just for the record. It's not CC related. It's personal. But I've been friends with this person for a number of years now. And we've gone along so well. And... No, no reason to really not be friends. I think the reason is just because I've had a lot of friends in my life that have basically come and go, and I've had I've never really had a a set friend in my life. Like most of the friends I've made, out in, in at least in real life. You know, we split up in, you know, many different ways. And I guess it just kind of feels like, um, I guess I'm just kind of afraid the same thing is going to happen with this friend I have. I mean, they mean a lot to me, and I don't want to lose them as a friend. But there's really no reason or evidence to suggest that we would not be friends anymore. So it's 100% anxiety. Okay, so one thing I am noticing is I can start with down here instead of doing this. I don't think that would really matter though. But let's do it. And I'll have that open so that way I can keep this. Okay, still nothing. Well, that's open, but that doesn't do me any good, really. Okay, so now I have that, but now the tank is stuck in this corner. Yeah. I don't get that top section. That's 
I I'm missing something with that. I think I had it right the first time I did it. But yeah, I'm recording right now just to kind of get my mind off it. I mean, hell, the other night, I while they were offline on Discord, I, I, I went ahead and um, kind of left them like a, what's it called? Um, kind of like one of those important message things, like kind of to remind them that you know they mean a lot to you and you know don't let them forget that all that type of stuff it was basically one of those types of messages and they read it the following morning and they were very touched by it and stuff like that okay I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do both at the same time as quick as I am so yeah, just getting my mind off it. I mean, that's really all I can do because it's it is one hundred percent anxiety, and I I don't know why it it's so bad lately. Like the past few, like the past month or so, it's been extremely bad. Wait, why did I do? Why did I go that way with it? I mean, it still works, but I think no, I think I have to do it all over again. Well, at least you can recover from that. I don't know why I made that mistake, but that was one of the reasons why I left the server was because of my anxiety. It was building up really bad and I didn't want to have a meltdown in the server. I, I, I never properly said it by the way, but I I did go back to it. I am back in the, into the, the CCBBC server. Um, I've been back for, I don't know, two weeks now. Um, I haven't been as active as I once was. Truth be told, I don't think I ever really will be as active as I was before. My mindset about the server is still roughly the same, to be honest. But I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. And uh, just hope for the best. So far, it hasn't been too bad. Okay, so we're going to do that first. And we're going to do that. And have both of those held down. Now, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why you'd want both of these held down. And I don't even know where another red key is, unless I wasn't supposed to use it somewhere. But let's get this block back out, since, since because of this. I mean, I know the wall configuration enforces that, but you know, still. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so what now? Oh, you know, really? That's three times I, I. That's three times I've gotten back to this. Really? I 
Okay, so I, I, I know what my problem is. I do have to use both the blocks, but I have to, I have to go across this first, go across the puppet ball. Then I can get the fire boots, and then I can kind of make my way forward. Wow, I am really stupid for doing that three, going back to that three times and still messing up on it. I've been on this for 20 minutes. This is not a good start. <laughs> but I mean, when most of the level up to that point is block pushing, not that I am complaining about it, it's fun block pushing. It just, it, it kind of overstays its welcome after a few attempts. Not the best start to this video. <laughs> I've had worse starts, but eh. All I can say is I hope the commentary makes up for it. But I, I do love these these types of sections uh, with guiding a block through like a toggle wall configuration maze. These are they're not easy to make, but they are absolutely fun to make. I want to make more more of these types of things. Like That's one thing I tried to do more often in Walls of CCLP3 is try to make these block navigation things more in, like more of a thing. One level I wish I included in was a thermo something toggle transmission. I forget the, the full title off the top of my head, but that big old room you start in in that level because it used the walls of clear the way and it had that big old open room at the start. Um, I really wish I took advantage of that room to um, uh, have like a block configuration maze like that with the toggle walls. Instead of what it became, it basically became a block guiding maze and avoiding the buttons. Okay, so now that we're finally back here, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it right. And do that first. And then we're going to hold this down. We're going to push that open again. Go around. Collect fire boots. And I guess go through the the pink ball thing. Okay. So I guess press this again. Oh hey, look at that, that worked. Okay, and then we'll go back around and grab this. Okay, now we will go back over here. And then look at that, they're already holding down the buttons, nice. Okay. All right, so now we got to um, I guess do that. Oh, hey, look at that. We're done. That was a very fun level. All right, spaced out is done. I wasn't expecting it to be the end of the level already. I, I felt like more was coming, but I had a lot of fun with that. A lot of 
bumpy starts, doing that beginning bit three times or whatever, that, that top section three times, that was unnecessary on my part, sorry. Um, hopefully these next few levels won't take as long, but we'll see. All right, closed circuit, level 98. Uh, this one I also know is a reference to uh, a level I made. At least in terms of wall, play, or not walls, um, um, slot placements. This is this is placed as such to be um, in relation to Clay Tunnel from CCLP4, which was level 98 there. All right, what what is this level? Is it just a square? Is this all the level is? I know these were pop-up walls. No, everything but the bottom was. Does it use pop-up wall placements? Does it use gravel placements? Or does it just use the the square? It must just... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. I want to read the hint, but I don't want to know what walls these are. Alright, well, I... I Whatever. I, I have no guesses. All trap buttons are connected horizontally. Walls from bombs away. Bombs away? Oh, then yeah. Then it is, it, then it is just the the square of wall... The, the, the little square of walls. Because that level just had bombs and chips in it and a glider cloner. All buttons are connected horizontally. Okay. I can dig it. So it is kind of like a clay tunnel thing. But with one block. This is going to be interesting. And it's untimed, I see. Alright, let's get this guy back out. Oh, but I actually can't. Oh, this is going to be an interesting little puzzle. I'm really going to have to think about how to navigate this block around. So I don't think there's inherently anything wrong with doing this, but we'll see. I know we need the block for the end, so I'm going to try to spare all the pop-up walls I need, which I can't even do that, so I need to start over. Okay, so I have to do this. Okay. And then I'll go back around. Alright, so I want to do this one first. I, I don't know if there's an order to this, or if you can do them in any order. I'm just going to kind of go from top to bottom, sort of. Okay, so I know now I want to go around. And this seems like the most va valuable option to, to go about it. Uh, how on earth am I going to get this one? I think like this. And I can do that. And I can get the block out still. Okay.
So I have to do this. I have to go a completely different way to push it up. So it doesn't it doesn't have to go back up there anymore, which is good. So that's one thing down. And let me see. Oh, really? I can't. The fact the blocks required for the ending makes this a little makes this more challenging. I had no way to get the block back in here. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this first. Uh, I don't think there was anything wrong with doing this. Oh yes, there was. Oh man, this this is gonna be a level. I wanted to get to the one hundreds, man. <laughs> I wanted to get to the one hundred mark. I don't think that's going to happen. There's a lot of uh thinking with this level. I'm glad it's untimed. This is a good untimed level. Okay. So I know I want to do something like this again. Okay. So that's fine. I can still get the block out with no problem. No, I can't. Wow. Jesus. Are you serious? Well, I think we can say goodbye to our three level street guys. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen today. But I think. Um. I think we had a good run <laughs> with that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I did it too many tiles over. Ah, oh, man. Stupid. Man, you really have to think that with this one. Like, I have the beginning pretty much memorized. I keep messing up this first trap button placement and I don't even know the other three okay let's use this one and do this I can't do that oh my goodness I was not ready for a level that required lots of thinking I should have been, but I'm I'm not. I'm playing this set. Okay, then I, then I have to. No, not necessarily. I can do that, and that's fine. I know that for a fact. Okay. Get that. Thank you. Okay, so I have to go around and do this.
and then we're going to push it right there right now. Alright, so I can push it down to this trap button with no problems, really. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Huh. Now, how are you su actually supposed to do this? The only thing I can think of doing would require me Are all four chips required? Yes, all four are required. So how do you even get this bottom one set up? And at the same time, manage to go this way with it? Oh, there's two different paths. Oh, okay, that makes way more sense then then that should just be fine. And I shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so now I, then that way I still have a, a, a way to um, to get the block to the bomb by the exit. Okay, so moving on. So let's, uh, huh. At least I can go around and kind of look. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna push it up. I'm gonna go up with it. Okay, so I can take advantage of this and I can go around like this and do that. So this I have to do. And then that I have to do. Okay. So I think now, I think I can just do that and do this and do this. Okay, so I have to block out again. And now what? I don't want to, uh... I can push it down and kind of plan. Alright, so if I... I can go around, push it up, and do this. I can go around and push it down. And then go back around and do this. Go around, do this, and do that. Okay, I think that'll work. Hopefully this is a solve. Okay, I'm going to go around because I want to save as many pop-up walls as I can. Alright, so that is everything. Oh, I use this. Oh, I use this path to get the block to extract the block back out. Okay. So then I should be fine. Then I can do this, and do this, that, that, that. Okay, so this is... I have to do that. Okay, so now I gotta get the block to the exit. Go around like this. I think we got it. 
Yep, the bomb's in front of the socket. Alright, we got closed circuit done. That was a blast to play. Like... That is a very well-designed, well-put-together path navigation puzzle with pop-up walls and a block. And the fact that it, the block is required for the ending is flat-out brilliant. Uh, this is one of my favorites in the set, like, hands down. I, so, I mentioned a couple videos ago, I already have a top five in this set. That top five is becoming very hard to maintain as I keep going with the, the levels in here. Like, they are, no joke, very, very good. But this is definitely one of the top five as of right now. Um, but even the ones, like, in the top ten, top fifteen, like, you, all those are really fantastic. This one is perfect like this is cclp5 material this is what this is what cclp5 needs guys you want to know the kind of difficulty that set needs you're looking at this level that's all i have to say and now we have open circuit that's appropriate oh it's only 120 seconds we can play it okay so this is exhibit hall flat out you're allowed to pick up four red keys but choose wisely and race back walls from exhibit hall so, Exhibit Hall is another level I used the walls of that made Warehouse of Lost Hopes and Dreams, which... Okay, I have to get a red key for this. Which ended up being, like, probably one of my best levels ever. Okay, I don't have to get any here. The funny thing with that level was... The entire goal of it was to make it look nice after solving it, which was a really weird goal... A really weird goal to have, but I don't know. This is a nice, refreshing pa change of pace, though. Ah, so I think the four you. I think the, there's four rooms where you absolutely have to collect the key. Uh, okay, yeah, you have to get you have to get it here. So that's the four. So this must be the last one. Okay, so down. Down would send me to a red key. Left would send me to the chip. Up would send me out. Okay. So now what? Somehow I gotta get rid of these red keys, right? Oh, wait. That's all I do. Oh, we can get this, right? Uh. <laughs> okay, I I will take a one second remaining solve. That was really close. Wow, I thought when I missed it, I thought I was done for. But that was a fun level. That was really quick, very perfect placement for after the last two levels. Um, very fun level. Nice and simple, very quick and easy, appropriate level names. I loved it. Alright, Iron Sky. Well, I promised you four levels. You're getting four levels. So let's start off the triple digits, guys. Okay, I don't know if I want to collect all these red keys. I just played a level that you had to avoid some. But there would have been a hint that said so. Is 
This is very reminiscent to suddenly tanks falling from the sky in Josh L6. That's one of the silliest levels I've ever made. It's 100% just for the pun. Or not, it's not even a pun, it's just a silly title. Like, tanks, you can make some pretty hilarious titles out of tanks. Okay, I don't know if I want to collect all these, but I think I got them all. That leftmost one wants to stay cloning. Oh, that sucks. So where do I want to go? I didn't even see a bunch of red doors anywhere. It must be it must be all the way at the top. That's the only place I haven't seen. Oh, there's slippers right there. Okay. I am surprised I never saw those. Okay, I think I got everything again. So, what could this one be? What oh what what oh what could this level be? Oh, nice. There's a blob con controlling all these. This is kind of similar to something I did in uh, Club Penguin in Walls of CCLP3. This one kind of makes it bigger, and I actually like this implementation better than my own. I think this is the stalker. It wasn't not the stalkers. The the snipers. Well, they were kind of stalking you as well. So, once you hit the trap button, tanks in the next room will clone approximately every eight seconds. Walls from the snipers. Approximately every eight seconds. Once I hit the trap button. Okay, so it kind of gives me some time to think. Oh, and that, there's the mechanism for this. Okay, well I can collect that right, right off the bat. Can I push any blocks immediately? I don't think so. I can push that. I can push that. And I can push that. I don't know if I need any of these blocks for the ending. I still have the flippers, so I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like I actually need the blocks for the ending. Alright, so let's press these. Okay, so I'm fine right here. This is an interesting idea. I like this. Kind of have to hurry up and push, get all the chips or push the blocks out of the way. I'm not really paying attention to the timer, to be honest. Alright. We're fine right here. Okay, we got some... Oh, we got a lot of ground to cover here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Ugh, oh, that's... That's... Get that, eh, that gets harder. So... Someone on CC Zone sent me a message. I don't, I don't remember who. Their, their name started with a B. I think it was Bob the Baron. If I had, if I had to guess, that's one hundred percent just a guess. Um, message me about the pace of doing four levels in a row at this point. He said he, he needed a map for one of them. I had to, I would have to assume that one would be closed circuit. I can kind of see that being the case. I didn't I didn't use a map for that, and I want to say that took less time than Spaced Out did. Maybe I, I could be wrong there.
All right, let's start this bad boy up and hopefully Yeah, this is such an awesome concept. I kind of wish the w there was a way. I kind of wish the blob would stop controlling the tank button, or not tank button, the the clone buttons in the left room. That way, you can only focus on the noise that the glider makes for these. Okay. Somehow, I got through that easier. Okay, I think I'm okay. I should be fine. These are the last two chips right here. I missed one tank, but I don't really need it for this side. Okay, so I just need to get this one right here and I'm done. Alright, that is every chip. And we are free to go. Oh, there's multiple blobs. All right, Iron Sky is done, guys. That was a, that was a very fun level. I love the idea with the leftmost room. Actually, I mean both the ideas were good, but the left the left room I really liked the way that worked out. Like that's a concept I don't think I've ever seen done before, and I really liked the way it played out. Um, the whole level was fun, not too hard, and yeah, had a lot of fun. All right, guys, we will stop it here. This is just about just shy of an hour. Um, had a lot of fun. I'm glad I kept my promise with four levels. I was so sure with you know, a quarter of the video being one level, I thought all hope was lost. But the pace of the last, the latter two levels really sped things up. Um, closed circuit was a lot of fun. Open actually all four levels were great, but closed circuit was my favorite of this of the lineup I played today, like hands down. Uh, very compact level that used the, the pop up wall puzzle with blocks and stuff. I mean that was a lot that was a lot of fun to figure out. Uh, but next time we will start well, we already started, but we will move onward to the triple digits and the latter third of the set because right now we're at the, exactly the same spot Jeffrey is with my walls of CCLP3 and it's been about two months since I've seen a video don't know when that's going to happen again but that's not a call out I swear um, <laughs> uh, we will take on middleweight challenges in the next one and I don't know what level does, what level these walls use off the top of my head uh, I'd have to guess chip cart 64 just because of the five tile wide corridor with the pink ball cloner on the border and 64 chips on the counter that might be just a coincidence but you never know so that's that's my guess we'll find out if I'm right or not in the next one we'll see you then guys